Welcome to our brand new Premiere Pro series, where we're gonna take you from the absolute basics to becoming a master in Premiere Pro. And this is gonna be a complete series. So in this video, we're gonna show you how to create a brand new project and go through every setting. So let's jump into it. Okay, so this is the latest version of Adobe Premiere Pro with the new redesigned and reimagined workspace for importing clips and creating your very first project. Now, when we click a new project, we have this new window that looks very, very slick. We have the project name at the top here and you can choose where to save your project right here and then choose your location. So I'm going to save this project as the word test. I mean, why not? You can import your initial media from this window on the left-hand side here, and then you can browse each folder from your computer. And then also, if you have footage on an external hard drive, you can access those below this. So I'm going to access my hard drive and look for a folder of some video clips that I want to edit. Okay, this is the folder right here. Now I can either select each clip individually or I can highlight them all just like this. Now, if you can't fit all of the clips in, just use the slider at the top here to make the thumbnails smaller and then you can select all the clips. Okay, so now let's jump into some Premiere Pro terminology. Now, when you have files, audio clips or documents on your Mac or PC, you'll usually store them in folders. In Premiere Pro, they're called bins. Okay, so in Premiere Pro, a bin is very much like a folder on your desktop and you can store things like video clips, audio clips, graphics, all of those lovely things in a bin within Premiere Pro. So you might wanna create a bin for B-roll and then maybe another bin for talking headshots. It's just a great way of being organized within Premiere. So once you've got all of your clips selected, you can get Premiere to automatically create a sequence based on your clips. Now, if you've used Premiere Pro in the past, don't worry, you can still import clips the old way by dragging and dropping them in. Okay, so we've now selected our clips and we'll actually talk about what every window does in Premiere Pro within the next video, as it can look super confusing when you first open up Premiere Pro for the first time. Now, Adobe Premiere Pro is great for running multiple projects and you can have many, many projects in this bottom left panel. And this makes it really easy to switch from one to another, which is great if you have a really big project that you're working on. Now, if you come over to your project window, you can jump from project to project by tapping the tab, including the project name next to it, just like this. Now you can actually even drag and drop items from one project into your current timeline, which is super handy. So how do you actually create a new project if you already have one open? Well, simply go to File, New, and Project. And I'm gonna name this new project Manchester B-Roll and click OK. And there, we now have two projects in this panel we can switch to and from. You can simply jump back into the Import panel and import your new clips, and this will open a second sequence. Now, many people find their own flow when it comes to creating projects in Premiere Pro. So play around and let me know in the comments section below how you get on with creating your very first project. And if you want to learn more about sequences, you're in luck because that's gonna be the next video up here. So enjoy that and I'll see you in the next one.